Good morning. Welcome to the class again. Hope you had a good day yesterday. Happy to see you again. So, what have we learnt in the last few classes? Okay, today what should we talk about? I think it's very important to speak about the genealogy. By genealogy, we mean generation of gurus. How a parampara continues, how a tradition goes forward. So, shall we study genealogy today? Gharana? Gurus, okay. Genealogy is a term which refers to gurus and gharanas is forever challenging proposition. The reasons are chiefly lack of proper documentation, archiving and preservation. Add the unschooled gurus of yore, but no less qualified, huh? who could not readily recall their proper factual birthdays. Many gurus generally used to say, born near full moon, Purnmasi, or near Holi or the Shara. To trace precise date and place sometimes becomes difficult. Thus, most genealogies must keep margin for human factors and loss of records and authentic documents. Be that as it may, last few hundred years of Lucknow, Banaras and Jaipur Gurus, thus Gharanas, Ghar, Ana, household, family lineage have been documented and we have records through texts, literature, books and biographies. Lucknow and Jaipur being prominent gharanas in terms of consistent productivity and outreach, we first take note of these. Lucknow gharana, we have so many names starting with Kalka Bindadin, Prakashji, his father, then his brothers and his children Achan Maharaj, Lachu Maharaj, Shambhu Maharaj and their generation Pandit Beju Maharaj is a direct descendant of Ishwari Prasadji, a Mishra Brahmin in Handia Tehsil of Allahabad. It is said that Lord Krishna appeared in his dream and asked him to re-establish Kathak Nitya, Natvari Nitya. He passed on his knowledge to his sons Adu, Kharju and Tularamji by teaching them Kathak till the old age of 100 years. These three sons also devoted then to the tradition and how it unfolded. Thus, we have this genealogy. Adhuguji had three sons, Prakashji, Dayalji, Harilalji, who received complete training from their father. After his father's death, Prakashji came to Lucknow along with his two brothers and was appointed the court dancer by Nawab Asafdullah Prakashji. Had three sons, Durga Prasad, Thakur Prasad, Man Prasad. It is said that the king bestowed the title of Singh upon Manji, who then became Man Singh Ji. Thakur Prasad was the Katha Guru of Nawab Vajdali Shah, and it is said that he received four palkis full of money as Guru Dakshina. He gave Kathak the name Kathak Natvari Nritya. Durga Prasad had three sons, Bindadin, Kalka Prasad and Bhairam Prasad. Bindadin Maharaj started rigorous dance training at the age of 9 years. He practiced Tatkar for 12 hours a day, every day for 4 years. He wrote and composed about 3000 Thumris and created beautiful bhav on them. He taught Thumri singing to many famous singers and court dancers. He along with his younger brother Kalka Prasad were famous as Kalka Bindadin Ki Jodi, the Kalka Bindadin Tusam and gave successful performances all over India. They were also known as Ram Lakshman. Though Kalka Maharaj died well before Bindadin Maharaj, they are both revered as founders of modern day Kathak of the Lucknow style. Kalka Maharaj had three sons, Achan Maharaj, Lachu Maharaj and Shambhu Maharaj. Achan Maharaj was born in Lamhua near Sultanpur. He received training from Kalka Prasad and Bindadin and was an expert of Bhav Laya as well as Thal. Even though he was heavy in stature, he could take chakras, pirots very easily and gracefully. He was a very good natured person, hence known as Achan Maharaj. Shambhu Maharaj was tied by the Ganda by Bindadin Maharaj at the age of eight. 
on his death bed bindadi maharaj gave shambhu maharaj's hand in the hand of achan maharaj and told him to treat his younger brother like his son and train him well at the age of 13 his mother sent him for thumri training under ustad rahimuddin khan and at the age of 14 his mother brought him to rampur estate where achan maharaj was the court dancer he received training from him for 4 years after which he came to lucknow and propagated kathak Shambhu Maharaj's sons Krishna Mohan and Ram Mohan are respected exponents and gurus of Kathak. Munna Shukla is the son of Vidyavati Shukla, a classical vocalist and daughter of Achhar Maharaj. His early training in Kathak was under his father Sundarlal Shukla and later he continued under his uncle Birju Maharaj. From 1776 to 2004 he worked in Kathak Kendra and then Sri Ram Bhartikala Kendra. His younger brother Satish Shukla is also a trained dancer. Om Prakash Mishra is the son of Achhar Maharaj's another daughter Chandravati. He learnt under Mohan Rao Kalyanpurkar and later under Birju Maharaj. His brother Thakur Prasad is a percussionist. Pandit Birju Maharaj was born on 4th February 1938 in Lucknow where his father Achhar Maharaj recognized his talent and took him under his guidance. His uncles Shambhu Maharaj and Lachu Maharaj also taught him Kathak at an early age. Pandit Biru Maharaj had his three daughters Kavita, Anita and Mamta and two sons Jay Kishan and Deepak. Kavita though a very talented dancer learned only for her creative satisfaction and never took it up professionally. Anita is a painter and artist. Jay Kishan, Deepak and Mamta are professional Kathak dancers carrying forward the family tradition. Mamta is more inclined towards teaching while Jay Krishan is an established choreographer in his own right Deepak the youngest of the five is a successful solo dancer Jay Krishan's son Tribhuvan is making a name for himself as an upcoming Kathak dancer Jaipur gharana from 11th century onwards Jaipur's colorful palaces and people we speak of a colorful but continuous history From the times of the Kachwas, Jaipur as a region saw many kings who made Amer their citadel of power and capital. By natural location, its height commanded a view that was unparalleled in the entire kingdom and also that arose high atop all terrain. This region thus attracted many settlers and many battles were fought and it was only during times of Raja Savai Jai Singh 1699 to 1743 Savai Man Singh 1745 to 80 and his younger brother Savai Madho Singh 1861 to 1922 that Katha got a place of honor Ambe also became important through Mughal alliances especially when Akbar married princess Jodhabai thus Ambe and Jaipur region grew in importance and attracted many bards and bands crafty people in state craft and craftsmen Among these were many dancers and singers from Churu Sujanpur in Bikaner kingdom another important kingdom of the desert and some bards and dancers hailing from the Shekhavati Mandava region from where many prominent sardar and marwadi families arose these families encourage art of dance and music at weddings and mundan tonsure ceremonies and when they came in contact with moguls some practices from these families came to the courts Jaipur gaining prominence meant more opportunities in Jaipur and thus some artists left other regions and flocked to Jaipur in search of patronage over 200 years 1750 to 1950 Jaipur Gharan of Kathak came of age this school places more importance on the technical aspect of the dance with elaborate and complex footwork multiple spins complicated compositions in different talas and grand tarana There is more emphasis on fluency, tayari, virility and greater use of long intricate rhythmic patterns. The dance is mainly composed on parmelu bowls. There is greater incorporation of composition from the pakhavaj such as parans. Courts meant courtesans too and many court smaller ones encourage ne wide with each other to keep qualified courtesans so as to enhance their pelf and power amongst each other. Some famous courtesans of the period were Gulab Rai, Anand Rai, John Rai and Diljani. Some dancers were also attached to Govind Deoji temple and daily worshiped their idol through song and dance. 
One important source of such activities in courts of Jaipur was the pothis, traditional manuscripts handwritten by court chroniclers. A concise form is still used in Rajasthan for keeping annual accounts. Most of these pothis are in Sanskrit dating to mid 15th century and provide conclusive accounts of the times. In addition to Philip to arts and crafts, the idea of institutionalized arts, Gunijan Khana, literally meaning place for the scholarly and artificially gifted was created and under Raja Savai Jai Singh over 700 artists were employed in this Gunijan Khana. Under Raja Savai Pratap Singh 1778 to 1805 by some accounts 1803 the Gunijan Khana reached its peak under Savai Madho Singh. From available records of Gunijan Khanas we can assess how important arts were in Jaipur court under Maharaja Savai Madho Singh. Second, there is record of 10 male Kathak dancers and about 20 female dancers. 20 sarangi, the drone-like instruments that keeps constant and continuous refrain of a melody so critical to the art of elaboration and innovation on the spot in Kathak by way of playing, say, lehra, literally waves of unending music players. Jaipur Gharana evolved from temple Kathak and is known for its laikari rhythmic influence. Bhanuji, a Shiva devotee, learned the dance from a holy man and imparted his knowledge to his son Maluji. Grandsons Laluji and Kanuji went to Brindavan and became Krishna devotees. Kanuji's grandson Girdhariji settled in Jaipur and thus was born the Jaipur Gharana. In this style of Kathak, Gindhajis combined the Tanda of Shiva and Lasya of Krishna. The main branch of Jaipur Kathak begins with Girdharji, whose two sons, Hari Prasad and Hanuman Prasad, can be called as founding fathers of this style in the last century. Hanuman Prasadji had three sons, Mohanlal, Chiranji Lal, and Narayan Prasadji. To them, Jaipur Gharana owes much as each contributed immensely. Narayan Prasad's sons, Charan Giridhar Chand and Tej Prakash Tulsi, were trained by him. Shamlal, Chunnilal, Durga Prasad and Govardhan were cousins of Hanuman Prasad and well-known Kathak exponents of the Jaipur style. The name Jailal of Jaipur is hailed as the doye of dance of this gharana. He was born in 1885 and his elder brother was Sundar Prasad, both sons of Chunnilal. They are also of immense significance as they taught many students in pre-independent and post-independent India. In fact, a gharana was decided on the number of students it had. In the important seminar on Kathak, hosted by Kathak Kendra in 1979, when Mohan Khokar was secretary of Sangeet Natak Academy, it was discussed who all could be called a guru or ustad. This was akin to such a gathering in Jaipur in 1895 during the reign of Maharaja Savai Man Singh, where who could be a, called a guru or given a title of Maharaj of Kathak was deliberated upon. Thus, one having over 100 students like Bindadin of Lucknow was awarded the title Maharaj. Hence, his offsprings and family like Beju Maharajji continue to use this title, although they are originally Brahmins called Mishra. His original name Bridge Mohan Mishra, popularly Birju Maharaj. Jailal's son Ram Gopal and daughter Jay Kumari were both trained by their father. Ram Gopal trained his son Raj Kumar Mishra and daughter Kajal Mishra in Jaipur style. Jailal's disciple Sohan Lali is created with bringing Kathak to the south. Sohan Lalji became famous after his tour overseas as part of Ram Gopal's troupe. Sohan Lal also introduced Kathak in Hindi films. His brother Hira Lal also took up the profession of choreography and was an established dance director himself. Hira Lal's son Ganesh Hira Lal Hassel belongs to the seventh generation of a traditional family of renowned dancers and scholars. He was trained by his father Hiralal along with his brother Nritiraj Hiralal, formerly a famous dancer and teacher in Calcutta. His son Dr. Vinod Hassel 
is no renowned dancer and choreographer based in South Africa who has made a mark for himself in this field. Durga Lalji and Devi Lalji were the sons and musicians of Omkar Lal. Durga Lal, a disciple of Sri Sundar Prasad, was born in Mahendragarh of Rajasthan. He is known for playing the main role in the 1989 dance drama Ghanasham with music composed by Pandit Ravi Shankar. Durga Lal was also a singer and proficient in playing tabla and pakhavaj. He taught Kathak at Kathak Kendra, New Delhi. Durga Lal's daughter, Nupur, is a Kathak performer and vocalist, and son Mohit is a percussionist. Durga Lal's brother and initial guru, Devi Lalji, was a brilliant Kathak dancer. Both brothers died young. Devi Lal's wife, Gitanjali Lal, her son Abhimanyu, and daughter in law Vidhi carry on with the tradition. Guru Kundanal Gangani was trained by Narayan Prasad, Jayalal, and Achar Maharaj. His sons, disciples Rajinder Kumar Gangani and Fateh Singh Gangani are also fine dancers. Guru Kundalal's brother Sundarlal Gangani was a brilliant dancer and guru who taught at MS University of Baroda. He was the first person to bring Kathak into university teaching. Sundarlal's son Harish Gangani and Jagdish Gangani are carrying forward their father's legacy as professors of the dance department. MS University. Jagdish's son Durgesh is the third generation member of the Gangani family which has dedicated itself to Kathak. Reconstruction of these histories were also made feasible by singing minstrels, the Charanas, who kept family histories intact. Thus we see tradition of Papuji Nepal or scroll form of storytelling very popular in medieval and modern Rajasthan. Herein were preserved the graphic details of which did not king did what and when, graphic as in historical, pictorial. Banaras or Janki Prasad Gharana A third gharana called Banaras or Janki Prasad Gharana gained currency. Janki Prasad ji originally belonged to Bikaner. He was a Sanskrit scholar and created Natavari bowls as different from mnemonic syllables used in Tabla and Pakhavaj. Janki Prasad was a bachelor and settled in Banaras, so he got associated with what is called Banaras Gharana. His father Anand Prakash ji, grandfather Govind Prasad ji and great grandfather Gopi Prasad ji were all said to be Kathak exponents. His brother Chunnilal also taught Kathak and he had a son Sabla ji whom Janki Prasad trained. Sabla ji's son was Duda ji who had two sons. Hukumaji and Motilal, all Kathak dancers who trained with Janki Prasad ji. Janki Prasad ji had three main disciples, Dularam and Ganeshi Lal, sons of Hukumaji, and Chunni Lal. Chunni Lal received training in Kathak from Janki Prasad ji for 15 years and was appointed as the court dancer in Bikaner. Dularam had three sons, Bihari Lal, Hira Lal, and Puran Lal. Bihari Lal had three sons, Kishan Lal, Mohan Lal, and Sohan Lal. Kishan Lal's son, Shankar Lal, Mohan Lal's son, Prem Kumar, and Sohan Lal's son, Malaram, carried on the tradition of their fathers. Puran Lal had two sons, Madan Lal and Ram Lal. Madan Lal's sons was Ramesh, and Ram Lal's son were Jagdish and Omkar. Jagdish's son Mohan Lal and grandson Prem Kumar, Omkar's son Sohan Lal and grandson Malaram were all Kathak exponents. Ganeshi Lal also had three sons, Hanuman Prasad, Shiv Lal and Pandit Gopal. They were all great dancers of their times. Hanuman Prasad had three sons, Naval Kishore, Bansidhar and Omkar Prasad. Shiv Lal also had three sons, Sukhdev, Durga Prasad and Kundan Lal. Pandit Gopal had only one son, Krishan Kumar of whose three children, Ashok was a dancer, Naval Kishore's son Ghansham, Om Prasad's son Govind Prasad, and Bansidhar's son Rai Sahab and Rajkumar continued the family gharana. Sukhdev Maharaj was a Sanskrit scholar who researched Nati Shastra and was a Kathak dancer teacher, a member of the royal court of Nepal, and his wife Matsya Kumari was related to the Nepal royal family. In the 1920s, Sukhdev Maharaj met Tagore who encouraged him to revive Kathak and elevate it to the dignified status. 
Sukhdev Maharaj introduced reforms to revive Kathak by including religious elements, unlike what the Notch girls did, and it slowly became popular. He also taught Kathak to his daughters Alokananda, Tara, Dhano, later Sitara Devi, and sons Chaube and Pandey. They returned to Varanasi and set up dancing school where the daughters of local prostitutes were also admitted. And Sukhdev Maharaj battled social ostracism to popularize Kathak. When her marriage was fixed up at age of eight, Dhanno fought against it demanding school education. The family finally relented and admitted her to Kamchagad High School. There Dhanno blossomed as a dancer and her impressed teachers asked her to teach other children for a performance. Finally, Dhanno's immense talent to dawn on Sukhdev Maharaj. He renamed her as Sitara Devi and put her under tutelage of his elder sister, Tara. At the age of 10, Sitara Devi started short solo performances during movie intervals in a local theatre in Varanasi for a year and in 1931, the family shifted to Mumbai. Recognizing her huge energy reserves, her father designed a stringent regimen for fitness enabling her to somersault, swirl, wrestle and swing around a tall horizontal pole 100 times with agility till she was 75. She developed her own niche style drawing from a treasury of themes, poems and choreography collected by her father, creatively analyzing and combining the environment to suit each and every step she gracefully performed. Around 1932, Dhanno was hired by a filmmaker and choreographer, Niranjan Sharma, and she performed dance sequences in Usha Haran and other films like Nagina, Rati and Vatan, Anjali and Mother India. Her final role in which she danced a holy song dressed as a boy. She blended the elements of two schools of Kathak, Benaras and Lucknow. She represented a forgotten era when Kathak used to be performed the whole night. Sitara Devi adopted Chaube's daughters Jainti Mala and Priya Mala and trained them in her energetic style of Kathak. Gopi Krishna was the son of his sister Tara. When he was 11 years old, Gopi Krishna began training under his grandfather Sukhdev Maharaj. He also learned from Shambhu Maharaj. In 1952, 17-year-old Gopi Krishna became one of the youngest choreographers of Hindi film industry when he was hired to choreograph dances for Madhubala in Saki. Gopi Krishna married Kathak dancer Savitri. His daughter Shampa Sonthalia is a choreographer and dancer. Vishal Krishna is the grand nephew of Sitara Devi and son of Pandit Mohan Krishna, younger brother of Gopi Krishna. He is the 11th generation of a line of dancers of the Benaras Gharana. Mm -hmm.